The Kettleers were out for revenge today following the route that Harwich gave them a day prior, and with Zane Collins on the mound, the Kets were feeling confident. And Thomas Dillard would let out all that resentment build up from yesterday's contest with a ball that pounds off the right field wall in the third, easily driving in two Katuit runs to break the scoreless tie. An inning later and Corey Wood keeps up the relentless scoring for the Kets with an RBI base knock of his own, four innings deep, and it's 3-0 Katuit. Two innings later and the Mariners are finally able to jumpstart their bats. They're able to make the most of a Katuit mistake with a passed ball for their first run. And then an at-bat later, Danny Casals makes it a one-run ball game thanks to his single. It's 3-2, to two, two-thirds of the way into this one. That was until a smoking hot liner by Gabe Rivera allows the tying run to prance on in. And after a commanding six innings by the Kettleers, the Mariners are able to tie this one up at three apiece. But to make up for that shortened game yesterday, this one would carry all the way into extra innings. In the 10th, base is loaded and the ball is hit to Michael Tolley at first. He gets the game saving out at home, and Zach Humphreys fakes out the runner at third. Play at the plate for the game, and he's out! The Kets, and Steven Shock especially, are as fired up as you can be. We're still all tied up. But unfortunately, it would stay all tied up until the 12th, resulting in your final, a 3-3 tie. Coach Roberts spoke following the game about what this game means for the Cats with the regular season winding down. Well, I'm glad we're, we're, we're back this evening being very competitive, which we needed to do. The great outing out of Collins and tremendous outing out of Walsh and uh, Shock and uh, Gale to close it out. So, you know, we've seen this before. We saw it at um, Falmouth in a 12-inning game, and here it is again. But... Uh, the most important thing to me, uh, no matter what the outcome of the game was, that we were a ton more competitive tonight than we have been the last couple of games. And, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, we found out we lost Reynolds today for the year. He's gone because of a herniation from that 60-yard dash in Fenway Park. And then uh, Bonin most likely will not pitch again. Baker, the coaches shut him down today, so he won't pitch again. Uh, so... You know, we, we, we got a lot of tough news uh, coming here, and I had a meeting with the players before we got on the bus, to, you know, to inform them of the injuries and the shutdowns and those type things. And, you know, and, and again, this, um, it's, it's what you kind of – it's what every team kind of goes through uh, this time of year almost. So I'm really pleased with the, not only the effort, but the overall production tonight was really good. The Kettleers will have a chance to rectify the begrudging result of this contest at Lowell Park on Thursday for their final Patriot Cup game of the year against Hyannis. For the Katuit Kettleers, I'm Mason Horodisky.